Hey all you bobcats and bob kittens. I hope that you and your families are doing great and that you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me today for episode nine of Connect TV. This one is called Someone Special. But before we get into all that, let's practice our breathing. Mr. Acton, you're thinking, enough with the breathing. We get it, we get it. No, you don't, all right? No, you don't. I'm just being silly. But breathing really is important. And remember why? Because it connects your brain and your body and it brings them to the same place so let's practice our breathing right now i'm going to say the coaching out loud and you're just going to say it in your head and follow along ready here we go breathing in i'm breathing in breathing out i'm breathing out breathing in i'm breathing in breathing out i'm breathing out and again you can do that as many times as you need until you feel centered, grounded, and mindful. As I mentioned about 45 seconds ago, today we're going to be talking about someone special. Yesterday, I introduced you to someone special to me, my dad. And the day before that, I talked about another special person, Corey Ten Boom. You're going to be thinking for today's assignment and then writing about someone who is special to you. It can be someone that you know personally, for instance, in my case, my dad, or it can be somebody that you look up to, somebody who really exists or existed, but maybe you haven't actually met that person. It doesn't matter who you choose, but essentially you're gonna be writing about somebody that you look up to. I also wanna say, you might consider thinking about somebody who is currently working on the front lines to keep you and to keep me safe. Maybe you know some nurses or some doctors. Maybe you know some EMTs. Maybe you know someone else who's delivering food. The point is, there are a lot of people every day who are risking their safety and their well-being to keep our society functioning as well as it can. Be sure to thank those people. And I would like to say thank you to my stepsister because she's working at Riverside Hospital with patients every day and she's risking her well-being to be there for them. So I'm grateful to my stepsister and I'm grateful to the countless others who are out there in the world making our lives as safe and as good as they can possibly be. I asked my dog Scout, Scout, who would you write about for this post? And he thought about it a little bit and he said, I've got it. Abraham Lincoln. And you might be thinking, that's a pretty obvious choice. Please do not judge my dog Scout. This is who came to his mind. And we all love Honest Abe. So you're gonna be thinking about somebody that you look up to and someone that you respect, someone that is special to you. And it can very well be Honest Abe. But Mr. Acton, you're thinking, I can't paint that well. Well, no one's asking you to. You're gonna be writing about this person. Paint a picture with your words. Well, how many? It's described on Schoology. But just to get you thinking, you're gonna think of three specific character traits that that person embodies. Remember yesterday when you met the OG Mr. Acton, my dad, he talked about H-A-I-L. Honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love. I think that all those words could be attributed to Abraham Lincoln. But the three that came to Scout's mind were that he was honest, that he was kind, and that he was determined. So again, Bobcats and Bob Kittens, think about someone that you look up to, someone that's special, someone to whom you're grateful, because that's what you're gonna be writing about today on Schoology, and I look forward to seeing you there. In the meantime, be well, be safe, and have a great day. I know I'm about to.